Hey there, Florida dreamers and homeowners. So you've got your keys to your little slice of paradise. Congratulations. But before you kick back with your pina colada, let's chat about the not so glamorous, but super important cost of maintaining your slice of paradise. As John Paulson says, I think buying a home is the best investment any individual can make. So let's get into it. There are some costs those of us coming from the Midwest and the Northeast didn't know about before moving here. Buying a home is the start, but the real investment is maintaining it, unknown. So let's talk about pavers. They look really pretty and nice. A lot of us have them both in our driveways and on our pool deck, but with pavers does come settling. Our soil is sandy and our pavers are set with sand. So that will come with some ongoing maintenance. So be prepared for some ongoing paver maintenance every now and then. And our roofs like a good spa day now and then as well. Don't worry, if you're in an HOA, they'll let you know when it's past due if you're not proactive. And while you're at it, your driveway and your lanai will need some love too. What we have found to be most efficient is to just get into a rotation. So one year you power wash your driveway and your lanai pavers, the next year you power wash your roof. It is definitely part of the ongoing maintenance of owning a Florida home. First things first, if you're enjoying this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below, Honestly, we want to know, did you know about these costs or have you heard of them if you're considering moving here or have moved here? Because honestly, we did not know about them before we moved here to Florida. So please share your comments with all the prospective Floridians. And don't forget to subscribe to our Live Joy channel for all things Florida lifestyle and real estate. All right, let's move on. Next up, pools. Sure, they are the ultimate Florida luxury, but they do come with some costs. You'll either be paying a pool guy to come by every week or you'll be one. And speaking of Florida's wildlife, and I'm not talking about gators, I'm talking about the bugs. You will want to sign up for a bug service when you are moving and living in Southwest Florida. They come by quarterly, they'll come on call, and you absolutely, in my opinion, this is a must have. You will likely want pest control. And yes, that includes termites too. Termite protection is like sunscreen for your house. You don't wanna skip it. In fact, one of our rental properties a couple years ago did come back for termites when we did the home inspection. So we did go through, we had the whole home, whatever they do to, to beat the termites, they are no longer there, no problem. Everything got treated, but let me assure you, we now pay for that termite coverage on all of our homes. A lot of the new construction is built with concrete block, but the trusses still have wood in them. So I would not say it's an overwhelmingly crazy problem, but there are termites. The home that we had termites on was a wood frame home built back in the 80s. Regardless, we are not taking that chance anymore. We pay for termite coverage. All joking aside, the sun is really strong here. In fact, they say we have over 300 days of sunshine a year, which is the reason so many of us wanna move here. But it is critical that you always are wearing sunscreen, sun protection, sun shirt, and that you are getting skin che checkups regularly. So you might wanna add that into your budget when you're moving to Southwest Florida. One other ongoing maintenance cost that we like to prepare people for is getting on an AC service plan. Our air condition is our hardest working appliance that we have here in Florida. Our AC runs almost 365 days a year. We often get asked, do you ever turn on the heat? And the answer is we do, but it's usually only about five or six days in January. Most of the year we are running those air conditioners. So get yourself set up on a service where the AC company comes out twice a year. They change the filter proactively. They clean out the line and they keep your air conditioner in tip top condition so that you're not the one that's stuck with that air conditioner going out and you know when it goes out it's always like the hottest day of the year and usually on a weekend and in the evening so you get all those extra trip charges then we've got all the classics that you can expect almost anywhere you live taxes insurance including flood you definitely want to talk to your insurance agent about flood even if you're not in a required flood zone and of course utilities florida living comes with its perks but be prepared for some of these recurring bills and if you're in a gated community, you can expect HOA fees that will help cover all of those amenities that you love. And some communities have CDD fees to pay off the development costs, all part of the package. In keeping with Ben, in this world, nothing can be said to be certain except death and taxes and HOA fees if you're in a gated community. Owning a home in Florida is incredible, but it's good to know what costs come with the territory. Drop them in the comments below or reach out to us directly at 239-776-6872. And if you found this video helpful, 
Don't forget to thumbs up, like it, share it, and subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks for Florida homeowners. I wanna know, what did I miss? What are other hidden costs that we forgot to include? Let us know. Until next time, stay informed, stay cool, and keep living joy in that Florida life.